that to a girl True. is some corny yeah. shit. You can see that. You being that Michael B. Jordan yeah. today. Uh, allegedly sexiest man it alive my, in all of these all blockbuster my... movies I agree during your highlight week. You've probably never been more visible than you are right this second. And that's what you do to her. Mm -hmm. That was corny of him to speak to that girl like that. I'm not disagreeing. I would have I made Michael a joke. B. Jordan. That's why niggas call you corny. Off air. I would have made a joke off air like word. Hey, you, Creed. You know hey, what's his name? I wouldn't have did that in front of Hey, Creed. <laughs> in case you were confused, that corny ass shit you did is why you think you corny. Yeah. In case you were off a little bit mm -hmm. as to why you keep thinking that money hides corny. Mm. We live in a world where your products, operations, and reputation are only as good as your software. Where in case you don't know why Joe Buttons is calling Michael B. Jordan corny, he's actually responding to a video of Michael B. Jordan confronting one of his high school bullies. Now this happened on the red carpet. I believe it was for the premiere of Creed. And you know, we know each other. We go way back all the way to Chad Science in Newark, okay? The corny kid, right? <laughs> no, I did not say that. Misquoted for sure. Now, Joey, I'm not sold on what you're selling. Because what you advertise right now is that as long as a female is doing the bullying, it's okay. I don't know what type of upbringing you have, bro. But bullying is some psychological shit that a lot of people have never recovered from. I'm gonna keep it 100. I used to get bullied in junior high school and high school. The misconception that people have is what they see on TV. People think that bullying is somebody stuffing you in a locker, you know, folks uh, putting your head in the toilet and flushing it. I used to get bullied because of my clothes. Folks used to flame me because my gear wasn't up to par. My fashion was lacking. I didn't have Jordans. I didn't have Air Force Ones. I didn't have Air Maxes. I used to wear my brother's hand-me-downs. I had some Clarks. This was before the Shotta movement and Vibes Cartel made it cool to wear Clarks. All right, so if you're around my age, you're around 34, 35, you remember when the Pasa Pasa DVD started coming out and all the Jamaican dancers started wearing Clarks. This was before that. I was no pushover. I was no pussy. So I used to fight every day. If you had something to say, you try to make me the butt of one of your jokes, be prepared to defend yourself. It got so bad to the point where, where I almost got arrested for trying to slice one of my classmates. Now, thank God his mother ain't pressed no charges. But at the same time, I almost got kicked out of the New York City public school system because of bullying. Here's the crazy shit. My family wasn't even broke. My family wasn't even broke. My pops worked for the MTA making over $100,000 a year. His whole thing was, I'm going to give you what you need, not what you want. He didn't believe in buying no expensive-ass clothes. I, I wish he had eased up just a little bit. I didn't need everything that dropped. Just, just you know, one or two. That way I could blend in. But here's the here's the kicker. And this is where it kind of goes in with the video and, and everything. The ones that I was doing most of the teasing and the most of the talking and all that was females. It was females, bro. And these bitches made me feel like I was the ugliest thing on the planet. Come to find out, later on, I, I wasn't. <laughs> Come to find out, I wasn't. The only thing I could say that came out of that is I was still out here getting it in. You know what I'm saying? It's not like I wasn't getting pussy. I was still But my mouthpiece was crazy. I figured, okay, I don't have the gear and, and all the fly shit to attract you, but I'm going to talk my way into your drawers. I'm going to talk my way into your drawers. Now, here's where the psychological shit came in, bro. It put me in a situation where I was revengeful. Like, it, it felt as though every pussy I got was revenge for the turmoil that bitches put me through when I was in high school, in junior high school. Now, that's that psychological stuff that people just, you know, don't get over. Even to this day, I still, I still think about it, bro. I still think about it to this day, son. I say all that to say, when would it have been the correct time for him to call her out? When would it have been the correct time for him to confront somebody who might have put him through some mental abuse when he was younger? And the crazy thing, all he spoke about, and all he made reference to was the little interview, which came years later after they graduated high school. You feel me? And she actually admitted what she used to talk about in high school. She actually admitted how she used to make fun of him for having headshots. Now, I don't know if y'all are familiar with headshots, but headshots is what actors use. Okay? So, which means that he was chasing his dream back then and she was stomping on that shit. What you gonna do with your little headshots? 
Who do you think you are? You're not Michael Jordan. And come years later, you're at an event for him. Of course, that was been a perfect time to let her know, hey, I didn't forget. You used to make fun of me. I'm the corny guy, remember? And he still gave her the interview. He still gave her the interview. He just let her know, hey, I heard it. I heard what you said about me. Think about it, bro. She used to make fun of this man in high school. And years later, she's still talking about him. And the thing she said about him still wasn't favorable. Like, you still didn't say nothing pleasant about him. Years later. So he's supposed to just come there, do the interview like nothing happened. He's supposed to be fake. Because he's Michael B. Jordan on one of the most important nights of his life, of his career, he's supposed to be fake. When somebody who obviously didn't believe that he would make it this far is about to use him to get their career going. Nah, it, it shouldn't work like that. I feel as though he handled that situation perfectly. He did what he's supposed to do. He stood on business. I can't believe I'm hearing Joe Budden saying that, man. Joey, that's, that's, I'm disappointed in you, Joey. And the fact that you calling this man corny, now, I'm, I'm a, a Joe Budden's fan. I've been listening to you since... All the mixtapes with, with the A-Team, Ransom and Hitchcock and Fabulous and Paul Kane. I've been li listen, gang. I've been listening to you, bro. I've been following your career for years, and I believe that you have done a lot more corny shit than Michael B. Jordan. Let's be honest. You've done a lot more corny stuff than Michael B. Jordan. So let's not do that, man. Let's not. It's corny. You corny because you did this to a female, huh? Corny would have been him putting hands on her. And that's when you call him corny. He checked her. Ain't nothing wrong with checking somebody. Ain't nothing wrong with letting somebody know. I know what you be saying about me. You can smile in my face right now, but I know when we're not in the same room, you don't have nothing nice to say about me. Shout out to Michael B. Jordan, man. Shout out to Michael B. Jordan. I know some of y'all might have bullying stories. If you have a bullying story that you want to share, go ahead and put it in the comment section. I'll gladly read it aloud on my next video. Because bullying is something that happened in America all the time. America is based on bullying, if you really think about it. Everything about America is it's a bully society, huh? Might be walking through the neighborhood or doing whatever with your chain or your 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 watch or whatever it is you got. The nigga gonna come bully you and try to take that shit from you. Bully society, man. That's the video, y'all.